So picking up from our last video, the next thing I'm going to do is check our model for any default um, locations, rotations, and scales. Now I'm not worried about the, um, uh, the most of the, the translations here or the lo locations because that is, is exactly where we want our um, model to be. We want it to be not at zero, zero, zero. But most of the time we do want our rotations to be zero, but we always want our scale to be one. And let's just go through, I'll go through the objects in the outliner um, in order so that we uh, make sure that I don't miss any. So you can see here our, um, our location is not at zero, but our X location is at zero, which is what I want. So that is a good um, spot. So I'm not worried about these things here. I don't want to apply those translations. Our rotations, 47 degrees, uh, that might be actually helpful for us in case we need to um, build something and then rotate it. Sometimes it's a lot easier to build it straight and then um, rotate. The one thing here is I can see that my scale is um, is not at one. So I can apply that scale. I'm going to hit Alt, I'm oh, sorry, Control A, and then apply the scale. And you can see that that is now one, which is what we want. Let's go to the next one. And this is going to be really repetitive. You can see, and we've got some slight rotation on here. Um, should I worry about that? You know what I'm going to do is reset this back to one uh, to zero because it's probably whoops numpad one well there we go i was expecting it to be ortho um i was like why has my camera got perspective so there we go i'm looking at it from the front that looks damn straight to me so that's good so i just um cancelled out that minuscule rotation on there so that is that one and I'll also rename these because uh, these ones aren't a common sense name. So this is an axle, but it's, it's axis. I'll rename them after I check them all because that way it would change the, um, the order in the, in the outliner. And then I won't know what I've checked and what I haven't. So I'm just going to reset the, the, uh, the rotation on that one. Um, this one, 51 degrees, that is giving it the rotation this way. Uh, so I'm going to leave that one, but I am going to apply the scale. So um, I'll, I'll control A, apply scale. Oh, and that is all of these ones. So let's move on to our spheres. We can apply our rotations and scales because it's not really important. This is a sphere, so it doesn't matter. So I'm going to apply um, Shift A, apply rotation and scale. That has zeroed that out. Next one, where is this? This is the front one. I'm going to give these proper names, as I think I've said. I can apply the rotation and the scale. Apply rotation and scale because you can see they're not at zero. Apply the rotation and scale. And monster truck back bumper. Our scale, let's apply the scale. Do I want to apply the rotation? Yes, I do. Yeah, I'm going to apply rotation and scale. Now it might be boring to do uh, it all one by one, but um, sometimes rigging is really boring. But I'll show you what happens if I try and apply. One thing I do know that I want is the scale for all these objects, right? And if I try this, boom, I get a big error message. And that is because some of them are using, um, let me just undo that so I didn't um, uh, make any changes. Uh, some are using shared data and we can't apply the scale of shared data. So we've got to pay special attention to that. Okay, so where was I up to? The back bumper, I uh, yep, applied that front bumper. This has a scale uh, rotation, let's apply the rotation. I can apply the rotation, whoop, uh, Oh, actually, did you see what I did then? Made a mistake. I applied the location. I do want that to stick here, right? I just wanted to um, apply uh, rotation and scale. Next one, uh, the chassis. Uh, it's got a little bit of rotation on it. Actually, I'll see if I can do a couple at once. So these ones. So these three, I was just looking at these things. I'm going to do these three at once. Select all of them. Apply the rotation and the scale. They're all individual, that's good. Exhaust, aha. Uh -huh. This one was probably using a mirror modifier from one side. Um, the one thing that uh, is distracting me is that the origin point isn't in the middle. Now this isn't a huge problem because we are not going to be rigging these um, exhausts purely because this is a remote control plastic toy car. Um, so there won't be any like engine rumble, but if this was a real car and you wanted the engine to rumble, you might actually put some bones in there so that the animator can um, make these wobble. And you do want 
the um, the origin point to be in the whoops you do want the origin point to be in the middle so that when you uh, weight paint and rig one side you can get the other side for free if the origin's over here it's it's not going to work very well so i tell you what we do and uh, we can fix that really easily by snapping our cursor to where that origin point is so uh, cursor to selected and then we go into our view tab we're going to go uh not we're not going to flip it we're going to make it centered and then we can go object set origin 3D cursor, boom, now it's in the middle. Uh, let's do the same thing here, snap, and then go zero out the X, and then go object, set origin, boom. So that has fixed those ones. Now, did I uh, need to apply rotation and scale? So on that, uh, exhaust front and back, let's apply the rotation on that. So apply rotation. I can do scale as well. Um, these ones have a scale. Uh, these ones are the ones that was complaining about it before. They are using shared data. So what we have to do is apply, oh, sorry, make it um, one single user and go to the other side because I know these ones are, are going to be shared. So now there is no two here. And the reason I'm doing it on this side is just because I don't have the, the 001. <laughs> that 001's annoying me. Um, and don't worry, I will take them all out of the names in a later video. So I'm going to apply the rotation and the scale on this. Apply rotation and the scale. And then I'm going to select this guy and share the data with it. Um, so I go share data. What was it? Front data. Boom. You notice that it has um, changed and that is because our scale and our rotation here. So if I hit Alt-R and then Alt-S, uh, it's going to be... Uh, back to, to one. I don't want to apply that. I want to reset it back to zero. I've, I've done that one. This one, apply the rotation scale. This one is multi-user. Ah, I've already, that's one I've already fixed. Uh, this one is a multi-user. So let's do it on the other side. So let's make that independent. Oh, and while we're here, watch this. I'm going to um, Alt-R, Alt-S. So now it's bigger, right? But it's at its default settings. And when I apply the same data, it's going to fix itself. So this one here, we are going to um, apply the rotation and the scale, apply rotation and scale. And that is uh, 004 data. So we just want 004 data, bang, fixed it. And number five, um, we're going to apply a rotation and scale on that one because it's already independent. Uh, these ones, I'm going to apply rotation and scale. Oh, okay, they must be sharing data. Is that right? Yep, they're sharing data. So how do we fix that? We're going to make that single user, apply rotation and scale. I'm going to do this by rotation and scale. Apply rotation and scale. Uh, we need to pay special attention to the um, the angles of our uh, stuff here. So I'm going to uh, leave the rotations, but just apply the scale. And let's go the same thing here. The scales are correct on that one. This one, apply the scale. And that scale is already applied. This one is uh, already done. This one already done. This one already done. This one already done. This little axle here is good. This little axle good. This little axle good. This little axle good. Okay, now we're at our wheels. Um, we've got some rotation on the wheels here, which I'm going to leave, right? We're sharing data, as we know from, from before, but our scales are at, at one, which is good. And the reason that we've got some rotation here, or actually let's put some rotation on here, is that we want the uh, wheels to be offset from each other. So the logo, this logo is at the top and it's at the bottom on this one. So let's fix that on this guy. Let's make him, is it the Z axis? Nope, X axis. X axis, negative 180, boom. Uh, and now we've done the same thing. Okay, let's save this file. Save as model three. Let's get to renaming. 